So again, the cake is your rational value. The icing is your emotional value. I like to say bake the cake, then ice it. If you just start with the icing, there's no foundation for it. And your brand is not going to be credible if you only go for you know, the other stuff and you don't have a rational basis for what your brand is all about. So this is, these are the four areas that I'm looking at. And they're all driving toward this middle thing called the brand promise. First of all, do you know what a brand promise is in consumer branding? What is Starbucks brand promise? When you think Starbucks, what's the first thing you think about with Starbucks? Functional association. Coffee, absolutely. But then you go beyond, so then there's kind of this augmented product, if you will. So what is that, what is that extra stuff Maybe they're icing that they bring to the party. What do you expect from Starbucks when you go there? I expect competent baristas that I can just shout my order out and pfft, they have it. And I expect to have Wi-Fi that works. I expect to have a comfortable ambiance. And uh, you know, often they have you know, music in the background. So you expect this kind of ambiance, and if you don't get it, that brand trust will be broken. So it's the same thing with people. Whether you know it or not, people associate things with your brand, and there's a certain expectation that when we bring Bruno on our team, Bruno is going to deliver things in a certain manner, and we're going to get a certain quality of product. <laughs> So that is Bruno's brand promise. And so you think about how do you be, how can you be authentic? You need to brand from the inside out. And you need to start with core values. What are my core values? What are my passions? What are the things I really want to do in life? Uh, and you have to marry that to your strengths. Um, hopefully you have things that are unique about your background or experience that you can bring to the party. Um, and then you wrap it up with your personality and your image. And all of that should be consistent. If you are moving from being an investment banker on Wall Street to being an impact investor that's going out in the field with social entrepreneurs, are you going to be wearing a, a three-piece suit? No, you're not. You're going to change probably the way you, you dress. And maybe you're shifting your, your, your value set just a little bit. Um, and you're shifting your ecosystem and, and who you're dealing with. All of that stuff goes into branding. People are going to associate all those things with you. So you have to do it in a 360-degree way.